Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, a bald explorer, out on another walk. And this time, I'm in a damp, dreary <laughs> um, field by a lovely old bridge, and things can only get better. And to help them get better, I'm joined by Mark English. Hello, Mark. Hello, how are you, Richard? Nice to meet you. Lovely day. It is, yes, a bit miserable. Where are we, Mark? We are in Waverley. Which Waverley. is just outside Farnham, near Guildford. In Surrey. In Surrey, yes indeed. I don't get much chance to go into Surrey, well, so we I'm very excited. Well, we can do something excited. about that. Surrey's <laughs> a lovely county. It is. I've, um, a hilly as well. Yes, yes. Just We've just come off the hogs back on the A31, which is very high up, uh, part of the North Downs Way ancient trail. Um, so, that, yes, yeah, so it's, it's a very, very ancient landscape around here. Very ancient. So, now, you've asked me to come up here because you wanted to take me to a few interesting places. Where yes. have you brought me today? We have brought you to Waverley Abbey, Ooh, which is an English heritage. I do like a nice yeah. abbey. <laughs> I love an abbey ruin. Um, it's the first Cistercian abbey in England, built in the 12th century. Um, been ruined since the dissolution of the monasteries. Of course. Good old Henry VIII. Yes. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful ruin. Um, open access English heritage, so we can go back in and, and have a rummage have around. A rummage around the stones. Well, they are approaching us now. Let's have a look at them. So yes, I like the um, open access bit. Yes. That's that we can just turn up more or less. Oh, we've got a nice, uh, oh, uh, a wet kissing I'll tell you what puddle. I'll do. If, I, uh, if I open the gate for you, could you? You're closing the gate there. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's it. Oh, now I'm going to open the gate. <laughs> oh yes, thank you very much. Oh, there we are. So uh, yes, here it is. And what a, a lovely bit of old abbey ruin it is. It's all spread out, which helps you get an idea of the size of the original yeah. The original place. ground plot was very, very large. Um, there was quite a number of monks here when it first opened. When, it, when the dissolution monastery happened, there was only 12 monks living here. Only 12? Yeah, only 12. I think they, I think they knew what was coming. Yes. Um, word must have spread. But it's a beautiful, beautiful ruin. It's lovely in the sunshine. <laughs> yes, it's, I was going to say, on a nice day, it must be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> but we're making the best of it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, come rain or shine, I'm out with the camera and the microphone, out of necessity, because this is Britain. Yes, I came here once, and this place is used for fashion shoots quite often. I came here with... Oh yes, I can imagine. Yes, and there were some people scantily dressed, having their photo taken. Oh, lovely. A couple of movies are being shot here. Uh, Hot Fuzz was shot here, Elizabeth. Uh, Huntsman 2, um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's quite a popular area to come to. Here we go. We can have a bit of shelter from the yes, very light can, rain, yes. can't we, and, and nip inside. So this is the Undercroft. This is the Undercroft, yes. Stone masonry is fantastic. It, it is incredible when you look at what was done over 500 years ago and what we do today, and we don't seem to be able to... Um, uh, Replicate the same, no. or um, you I know, mean, this is a real skill set. A real skill set, absolutely gorgeous. You can see why people use it as a film shoot. You can. It's, it's a shame you've got little bits of graffiti on the wall, but beautiful vaulted ceiling. Yeah. So, um, Mark, yes, tell me about because um, you do travel films and videos, and you do lots of psychic stuff. Yes, I, I'm a paranormal investigator, very skeptical one. Um, Are you? Been doing that a number of years. I uh, guess that's the best. That's the best way to be a skeptical, because then yeah. you can um, look at it with a. You, you're not just accepting everything. No, uh, I, I am open to more inquiry. So if someone says right. I've seen a ghost, I'm not taking that um, that away from them. I'm saying, okay, what are the conditions of you seeing that ghost? Was it? Were you tired? Were you drunk? <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, get rid that's of, true. Yeah, get rid of all the logical explanations, and then what you're left with, hopefully, is the truth. And and um. How uh, so? Did you believe in ghosts yourself? Well, if I, I, I yes, or have I've you experienced I've, anything? Uh, I've never seen a ghost. I've experienced a few things. Um, even I can't. My skeptical head can't explain. Um, so yeah, I'm very much interested in this. In this the, the further more of our consciousness outside our physical bodies. So uh, right, that sounds a bit heavy for a Monday morning. I know, but no. um, <laughs> well, there's more to this world than what we see in yeah. three in uh, our three-dimensional uh, realm. So. So when you come to a place like this, uh, I mean, so you're not you're not um, somebody who experiences uh, the feelings of something. No, or, no I, or... I pick up vibes. I've do dow I've been dowsing for twenty five years. Oh, have um, you? For Earth, Earth Energy Lines. Oh, well, that'll make an interesting video. Yeah, yeah I've nearly bought my rods with me actually. <laughs> um, but 
No, I'm generally more interested. I'm very interested in psychic ability and people's claims of psychic ability. Right. And I worked with a couple. Of, I've worked some really good psychics in the past who are not professional mediums, so they've got, basically got nothing to prove. Um, and they've come out with some remarkable stuff. Only last weekend we had some really good results. Uh, an investigation uh, down your neck of the woods at Field Place. Oh wow! Uh, in good. Worthing, a great investigation there. Um, I bought psychic here once uh, back in 2010. And all he was picking up on was a lovely lady walking about, you know, of the 18th century. So it's, wow. So people think, oh, monks. Yes. Well, maybe, maybe not. You know. But of course, that's just one time period. Of isn't course, it? it is. There's so many layers. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, we've come uh, here to, I mean, without actually looking at the a plan, which there are mm. plans, there of course. Plan of the um, I can't tell you exactly where we are. Um, and half the time, it's just about experiencing where we are rather than mm. giving you chapter and verse in a, in a <laughs> video like this. But behind us... Julia like that. Yeah, there's a tree for Julia. Let's go and have a look at it. I like we? trees too, Julia, don't worry. It's a beautiful, the roots coming down. Yeah, no, you're saying about the roots. Look at these, gosh. Um, yeah, Julia would be climbing in and out this tree for sure, except today it is a little bit wet and dripping. It's a yew tree, but by golly, what an amazing, what an amazing yew, and a, no doubt older than the abbey. Oh, I should definitely older than the abbey, yeah. And this is, uh, there's a, is there a, a, a river near here? Yeah, the River Way. The River Way. Down from Guildford down to, the I think, the Arran. Yeah, because presumably, you, you know, the monks would have needed a water yes. source. Yes, the monks are very prominent in the area because obviously we've got Farnham Castle um, over in uh, Farnham, not about three miles away. We've got Guildford Castle. So all these structures are all built around sort of the 11th, 12th century. Yes. And the monks were very prevalent in the area, building bridges, yeah. building barns. Um, growing produce so yes it was it was a very very vibrant time yeah it's a shame we can't step back in time and mm. just witness some of that really you know we've got a of tardis of yeah and this is interesting right we've got some stonework here so it must have been a structure here but part of the tree well it looks like the tree has sort of, yeah has the tree's been obviously it must have been here before, well before the abbey um but they built stonework so i love to know what structure this was why would they build it into a tree or part of the tree as, as <laughs> yeah no, that's that's very interesting. I mean, it's almost as if the tree is 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 sort of skirting the wall because yeah. actually, if you look over here, yeah, it's almost as if the tree. Here. here we go. It goes right up to the tree, so it's almost as if the tree has climbed over the wall, like yeah. some weird triffid. Yeah, there is a there is a plaque over there. Actually, it might have something on it. So maybe the tree isn't as old as as it. Mm. as it is maybe the tree is younger than the abbey and it's mm. just it's, it's harbour yew tree because they are such a great age ones you yeah. saw recently yeah in the videos. and um, i mean the it's, i just can't get over the um the root structure here because it is sp literally spewing this could have been above ground at one point it could have had a lot more grass and foliage here oh right yeah and actually that may be why the tree is appearing to spew down yeah. because this may have been perhaps a seed or something that got mm -hmm. buried into the wall and then as it grew, the roots are trying to head down. Mm. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Amazing, beautiful bark. Yeah, it's dark, obviously, it's raining. As we step into some form of light, it is very, it is very lovely. There you go. And I think coming around here back to um, uh, some of this ruin mark it's you know it, people often say it's a shame that the, the abbey's not here that it's in ruins but in many ways I think the ruins are much more evocative I thought about that um, I think the same of Avebury when Let's I go there stroll down this way um, there's a beauty to ruins of course, I'm sure we like seeing its former glory, yes. but there's just something so poetic about it. You know, you've I mean, got this, yeah, what is this? Uh, uh, well, it's not a fireplace because it's an archway of some yeah. sort of thing. This could have been a fireplace, actually. Well, uh, no chimney, though. There we go. Peer through the window. <laughs> I hope the laymen, are, the, the lay people are, are getting on with all the vegetables growing. Mm. Um, Brother Mark. Thank you, Brother Richard. The type of prayer. I think you, you should be calling me Abbot, actually. 
if, if the truth be known. Yeah, I think so. And, and I notice you haven't got the haircut yet. You haven't gone for the full no, ton- no, tonsil look. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Working on it. When I, was, <laughs> when I was at school, sadly, uh, yes, my hair was losing even at 16, and I was looking but like a monk. you looking young all the time. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's the, you know. yeah. That's the, that's the stress-free life that I have. Oh, don't do yeah, stress, don't do stress. Let's uh, head down to what must be uh, the church, is it? The, 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 that's the dormitory over there. Oh, the there. dormitory with those big where, long where, windows. Yeah, where they would um, were sleeping. Wow. And Eight to a bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, right, yeah, because of those very long windows. I mean, you know, th- the reason I say I think ruins are nuts is because you can put your own imagination into it and then you can see mm. the if they had stone uh, stone stained glass windows um, but you can sort of I don't know there's just something about a ruin which is um, that's beautiful look at that monk's dormitory as you say yeah. this was quite an important abbey for you know, 12th yes. century well it, it must have been very very expensive to have built oh absolutely you know, we can't, we can't build this sort of stuff anymore. Well, Mark, I only have 10 minutes in my videos. <laughs> and, you know, you could walk around this and um, speculate and investigate. Mm. And um, this is an amazing thing. There's a bit of ironstone by the looks of things. Is that ironstone in here? There's a lot of ironstone around in Surrey here. Look. Yes. So, it could very well be. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for bringing me here, but you're you, very you've welcome. got some other ideas of places to take me. I have, yes. Albeit yes. in the rain. Yes, but, uh, <laughs> Once water anyway, so that's all right. Yeah. Not that we're going in the water. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, a couple of other little, little jaunts. Well, wonderful. Do check out Mark English's um, websites and his YouTube channel. And join me again when Mark and I go on another one. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mark. You're very it's welcome. Been, it's been great. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Right. I'm going to look for that monk's bed and have a lie down. (laughs) That's a great. Yeah, there you go. (laughs)